Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, my name is Alexia. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And if you ever have any suggestions, just leave them down in the box. And if that's not on, just click the description. My Instagram will be there. Just DM me and I will be sure to read it and post my videos. If you read the title today, I'm going to be giving you tips and advice to begin a YouTube channel or to record videos, anything that has to do with YouTube. So I know that this kind of sounds like everybody else, like everybody else says it. All you hear whenever you search it up is that. But you have to be consistent. If you're not consistent, people will stop watching your videos. They won't find much interest because they know that you're not going to post. They know that you're just posting whenever you feel like it. And that's not going to attract viewers to your channel or subscribers. I recommend doing a small schedule of in film and edit and post and always be consistent again do not slack if you feel like you don't want to do it anymore then you don't have to obviously but if you have an amount of supporters or you have a, an amount of subscribers that are counting on you posting and they enjoy your content don't give up because those are the people that you attracted with your content so you guys might think oh um why is she talking about this i thought this was like tips or stuff well it, it kind of has to do with it besides that do not do youtube for money please because you don't get paid as soon as you post a video you don't get paid as soon as you post 20 videos 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 100 you don't get paid for that you have to reach a certain amount of subscribers and views to be able to get monetized, which is basically to start getting paid and all that stuff. You have to reach a goal. And I'm actually gonna see if I can put a picture of what it looks like right here. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now as a beginner on YouTube, I recommend that you guys write down all your ideas for videos. And I'm gonna give you guys some ideas just in case you do wanna post. Hair videos, vlogs, sit down videos, school videos, piercing videos, tattoo videos, setting up videos, room decor video, seasonal or holiday videos. Those are the type of videos that are gonna attract your subscribers. The reason why it's gonna attract them is because if you're doing something by seasons, which I mean is like, let's say now it's Halloween season, it's October, it's fall, Everybody's posting like decorating their rooms for fall, makeup for Halloween. That stuff attracts people because we are in that type of moment right now. This is where all the focus is at. People search up, oh, how to do a zombie look. Oh, how to do um, a pumpkin, like, you know, fake pumpkins, how to carve a pumpkin. So that's a lot of stuff that people are gonna be searching up at the moment. Now, if it was December, we would post Christmas video. Oh, decorating my room. Oh, putting up my Christmas tree. Oh, giving gifts to people. Oh, buying gifts for people. That's what attracts your viewers because that's what people are going to be searching for. Now, I don't specifically do that because I haven't gotten to that point in time yet, but I could do it. If I really wanted to, I could really push myself and start posting Halloween videos, fall videos. But I post more of my style kind of videos i post what i really feel like oh let me just pick up the camera and vlog oh let me just sit down and do this video really quick because i just thought about it like my piercing video it just came to mind i was like oh i should maybe record it see if i can post it on youtube and get some views recommend it to people and all this stuff so what i mean by me having my own kind of style is basically posting what i feel like i like and what people would like to watch from me like my beach videos well my beach video my piercing video hair video which my oldest videos are kind of the beginning of me of me posting and editing and filming that's the beginning of me learning how to do it am i gonna let eat them no because that's a lesson that's how i learn from it so I keep theirs for reflection. So if people have anything to say, they can leave it there. Let me know. And I could take that as an advice and better it. Oh, Alexia, you sound so good. <laughs> now, this is something I'm going to tell you. You're going to start a YouTube channel and you're going to feel embarrassed. You're going to feel shy. You're going to feel like you can't vlog in front of anybody. 
or record in front of anybody you feel like you can't tell nobody because that's how I felt when I first started when I first started making videos I didn't want my boyfriend my parents nobody to know but if they don't know how do you grow you can't grow if people don't know half of my school knows that I freaking do YouTube because I post it I'm at a point where I feel like, oh, well, I don't really care what people say anymore. I'm just going to post it for me, not for anybody else, for me. So I post it. I kind of promote it. Like I post it. I tell people be like, oh, go subscribe, go share, go follow, go like, comment. That's the type of stuff that attracts more people, whether it be hate or love or likes or dislikes, do not give up because I promise you, the second you get a bad hate comment or a bad like, you're going to feel horrible. Because that's how I felt when that first happened to me. I deleted the video. I didn't post for a while. But listen, if you don't get that hate, how are you going to become better? Think about it. You get that hate and you become better. You're like, okay, well, they're hating on me, but I'm still there. Look at how many people actually like my videos who, who say that my videos are good. So that's what you have to think about. Whenever you're going to start a channel... You have to think about the fact that you're gonna get a lot of hate and you're gonna get a lot of love you have to set your mind in a path where you're gonna take the love and better it and make it good and throw the positivity because you can't be throwing hate or negative comments or negative videos that doesn't really attract people if people see that you have a bad personality or a bad attitude negative energy they're not gonna want to watch your videos they're gonna click off and never watch your videos again now if you have a positive attitude positive positivity you post nice videos you hang out with people record it do fun videos people be like oh okay well this is nice let me tune in see if she posts anything else that's fun and maybe i'll subscribe and like and i'll share it to some people and maybe they'll subscribe too so that's what you have to think about i know that i'm going like really in depth with this but what i'm trying to make across is that there's positivity and negativity and it will happen negativity and positivity will be thrown at you and the way you deal with it is the way that your career or your channel will go now when also when you start a channel do not think about the best lighting okay now what i mean by that don't get a really big expensive ring light don't try to buy a big expensive camera do not try and buy a big and expensive backdrop don't do that Set yourself with what you have. Focus on what you have. You have a phone, record with your phone. You don't have a ring light, record with the daylight. Set a time of when you're going to record your videos so you can have the light. Your background doesn't have to be perfect. My background is imperfect and my backgrounds are always different. The thing is, I make it look nice because I want it to be presentable. So I show my walls, which they're pretty empty because I'm moving. So videos on that will be coming. But you just have to go easy on yourself because you're just starting, you're just growing. And what I mean by growing is you're putting stuff out there so you can be able to become bigger and more well-known. Not famous, not a celebrity, but people actually supporting you and saying, oh, this is really good or this is what you should do better and fix. And then you take that and then you make it better. When you're going to edit, you don't need the most expensive software. You don't need an expensive laptop or computer. You don't need anything like that. If you have an iPhone, the iPhone has an um, iMovie app. I'm going to try and put a picture right here. You can edit on that perfectly and then just upload it to YouTube. There you go. Record it on your phone and edit it on your phone. Now, personally, that's how I started. I started with the daylight and the iMovie and the phone. And I'm still using the phone because I don't really see the need for a camera, to be honest. And the camera that I do have, because I do have one, I don't know how to use I have to learn, which is going to take time because that's something really big. So now that I feel like I'm growing and it's not a big grow or growing, but I feel like I want to step my game up. I got a laptop. Don't mind the stickers. Very ugly, but that's the case. I got a laptop so I can edit on iMovie because I'm not buying no Final Cut Pro because that has that's money. Like I don't have money like that. So I use iMovie here, but I can see it better and I can edit it better. Listen, I'm not telling you to go buy a MacBook Air or a Mac. No, don't go do that. If you're starting up, use iMovie on your phone. Use what you have. Do not go all out because if you end up giving up and you don't want to do it, that's a lot of money wasted. So not that long ago, I just bought a ring light. 
and I've been doing videos for a while, maybe five, six months, and I've been using the daylight and any light that I can find that looks nice. So I just recently bought a ring light like three or five days ago and I got it from Walmart. It was $30, which is honestly perfect because usually they're like 60, 100, something around there. So this is what it looks like. It is a selfie light, which can also obviously be used as a tripod, ring light for YouTube and everything. But this is what it looks like. So if you go to Walmart and it's 30 and you want it, get it. I recommend it. I love it. It's perfect. No complaints. So it says selfie, but it can be used for vlogging, anything like that that you want to do as a video wise because it's a ring light. You can also hook your phone on it, right? So right here it says vlogging, live video, video chat, social media, live streaming, health and beauty. Basically, you could do anything with this ring light. You could record, do anything. And it was on a budget, basically. I didn't spend $200 or $300 or $150 on a, on a tripod with a ring light. I spent $30 for all of that. Plus, it brings a clip adapter because I already have a tripod. So if I wanna go and vlog myself, I can adapt this there. And look, I'm vlogging. So that's what I'm telling you. Do not rush yourself. Focus on what you're trying to do at the moment. Take time, write it down, learn. Do not rush it because if you rush it, things are gonna go bad. You're not gonna know where to start, where to finish. Take your time, write it down, write ideas before you before you make a video. Write down what you wanna say, what you're thinking, and then put all that in a video and watch it. Make sure that it looks nice and then edit it and then post it and then your viewers like it, they subscribe all that stuff. So I wanted to tell you guys something that I did not know when I started my YouTube channel is basically music. And what I mean by music is the music that I can use on my videos. If you use wrong music or music that is not okay by YouTube, you can get copyright. You can get copyrighted for using music that is not supported by YouTube. But luckily, but luckily, luckily, how do you say that? But luckily, YouTube has a section where it has a audio library and it basically has music. So I'm going to put one of them. It's not the best music, it's just music for videos. So there you go, download it, and whenever you're editing your videos, you can put it in there and it just works perfectly. You don't get copyrighted because it's from YouTube itself. So you should be perfectly fine. You should do that. Do not, and I'm repeating myself, do not use music that is not supported because you will get copyrighted and that's, that's not good. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really, really hope it was helpful. If you guys need a part two of me explaining more stuff and adding more stuff, definitely leave it down below. I'm going to be posting new videos, more videos. So make sure that you stay tuned and turn the bell on so you can be notified every time that I post. And I really hope that you guys keep on coming to my videos and supporting. I appreciate all of it. And I hope you have a great morning or night or day whatever but make sure you drink water you stay hydrated you know you're beautiful look at yourself in the mirror tell yourself that you're the best and have an amazing great day morning night evening whatever you guys are at 